Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a guide to get your tier 5 pet in Black Desert Online console edition. I do apologize, I do not have a clip of summoning the Black Spirit to pick up the original quest that'll send you down to the Old Wisdom Tree. Once you've picked up the quest from summoning your Black Spirit, open up your map and auto path on down to the Old Wisdom Tree. You'll need to talk to Obi the Owl sitting there on his perch in order to turn in the quest. Talk to Obi again, he's going to give you a quest which involves Griffin Bait. I'm sure you've already fought this Griffin before as it is a Dark Rift. So if it is up, go ahead and kill it because you're going to have to place Bait down in order to summon the Griffin and kill it for the quest. Something that I thought was general knowledge is if you do have an active quest, you can open up your map, go over to the quest icon and click on it and auto path directly over to it. Once you get to your destination for the quest, you're going to need to go into your inventory and click on the bait in order to summon the griffin. <laughs> Don't worry, the griffin is pretty easy to terminate. It's akin to the easiest Dark Rift version. Now that you've dropped the griffin, you can open up your map and auto path back to Obi if you're lazy like me or just run back up there. Talk to Obi again, turn in the quest, then talk to him again and he's going to give you another quest. This quest you're going to need to use simple alchemy to craft a royal plume. To craft the plume, you will need 40 magical shards, 800 fine lightweight plumes, and 10 growth reagents. Fine lightweight plumes are pretty easy to get. There's a bunch of chickens that are right outside the Navern steps that you, that you kill and then skin for their feathers. If you've ever gone for the infinite mana potion, you've already probably have an overabundance of this, but if you've never done it, that's how you get lightweight plumes and then you use filtering to turn it into fine lightweight plumes. If you don't feel like doing any life skilling whatsoever, you're in luck because there's other ways to get the fine lightweight plumes. You just need to go into your menu, go down to the function and find NPC. Just type in LAV, a name will pop up under Calfion City, which is La Vientia or La Vientia, and I'm gonna butcher it either way, I'm sorry about that. Auto path on over to them, and you can buy the fine lightweight plumes for 72,000 silver a piece, and you're gonna need 800. If you don't wanna go to Calfion to get the fine lightweight plumes, you can always go to the central market and look up plumes, and hopefully they have fine lightweight plumes in stock. If they do not, you can always get the, the lightweight plumes, filter them into the fine lightweight plumes. If there's none there, just throw up a pre-order, or if you're really impatient, just go kill chickens and skin them yourself and then do the filtering. Next, you're gonna need 10 growth reagents that can be bought from an old moon manager. I'm already here in Velia, so this is where I'm gonna pick them up. They cost 60 million a piece, so you're gonna need 600 million in order to have the 10 growth reagents needed to craft. Lastly, you're gonna need 40 magical shards. If you don't have any magic shards, you can always go onto the central market and buy the sealed black magic crystals or any yellow grade black magic crystal. Once you have the sealed black magic crystals, open up your processing tab, go over to heating and melt those down into magical shards. Now that you have all the items needed to craft the royal plume, go ahead and put them into simple alchemy and let nature take its course. Now head back on down to Obi in order to get your tier 5 pet. At this point, you have a choice to make, whether you are a life skiller, PvPer, or PvEer, whichever pet is going to benefit you the most. For me, I chose Knowledge since I'm trying to 100% my ecology, so that worked out best for me. So there you have it, the tier 5 pet quest pretty much from start to finish, how I went about doing it, and what pet I chose for my tier 5. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments, and as always, thank you, and I hope to see you in the next one.